Hi, Masses. So I went to the hospital today for an eye test, my annual eye test, and it went well. And they asked me where I was there, whether I was driving or not, and I said no, because I don't. And it's, it's probably a good thing, because I wasn't sure why at the start, but it turns out that the eye test you put in can blow your vision a little bit. Which I thought was very interesting on the grounds that it seemed fine at first, and then all of a sudden you blink after a while, and the entire world goes blurry. I'm starting to think, hmm, maybe I should be applying for a guide dog at this point. But, case in point, I've wandered off the street where I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be meeting someone. I'm down in town, and now I have no idea where I am, because I've wandered into a part of Bolton I don't normally go into. So that's fun. So I'm going to sign off now from this, and use my phone to find a map to find out where I'm supposed to be. Houses. Well, I was thinking earlier on about uh, Warhammer figures because Jen and I, after I met up with her in town, went out to Hobbycraft because she needed some card for finishing off the next part of the model railway. You can see the progress on the model railway on her channel, by the way. I'll just put a link there. And what I was thinking was, with Warhammer, you have to buy the figures, of course, and you get a small rule book with with the figures if you buy the starter pack. But there's a larger rule book with more of the instructions and background in if you're interested in that. And if you are interested, you might also like the Codex for the Space Marines or the Orcs or the Chaos Marines or the Tyranids or any of the other legions that are involved. And if you want to play those, you have to buy those figures as well. And there are little extras that you can add on. And it basically nickels and dimes you, as they say, so that they get more and more money out of you. I was wondering, is that the way that the world works? Because I'm just trying to think, the richest people in the world, who are they, apart from the oil barons, of course, are... Bill Gates, uh, Steve Jobs was. So, Games Workshop's nickel and dime and you. Bill Gates has got lots of money, Steve Jobs has got lots of money. Does the world basically measure success by how much money you can get from nerds? Because it does seem that way. But anyway, I haven't bought into all of that Warhammer stuff. I'm just wanting to play a game with it, which is why I got the starter set, see what's like, see if I like it. And so far I haven't played the game, I've just been playing with the figures, painting them, things like that. But it does remind me of my time when I was a kid and I was playing Space Crusade. That game was fantastic, but the dreadnoughts look so different. It's weird to think that even in games and designs, progress has been made on board games and uh, little tabletop things. So it's amazing what's happened in 30 years. And now I feel old, so I'm going to sign off. So until tomorrow, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson, you've been watching a video, and I'll see you later.